Hi children. How are you? I hope you all are fine. Welcome to our science class. In the last class, we discussed about the fiber rearing animals like angora, goat, llama, alpaca, and Kashmiri goat, yak, and they also provide us various kinds of wool, yak wool, angora wool, and we are making many items like pashmina shawl and other beautiful varieties of wool and materials. Isn't it? Then now, we have to know how the fibers are processed into wool. Students, let us move on to the next topic. From fibers to wool. How wool is processed from fibers? Wool is obtained from sheep. Sheep has thick coat of hair or fur. For obtaining wool, the hair is cut and processed into wool. Today let us know the process of making wool from fibers. Okay. First we have to discuss about rearing and breeding of sheep. Rearing and breeding of sheep. What do you mean by rearing? Rearing means growing or caring of large number of animals for obtaining their materials and also for different purposes. Okay. Rearing and breeding of sheep. When we going to the hilly places, Jammu and Kashmir, Arunachal Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh, Uttaranjal and Sikkim, and also the plains of Haryana, Gujarat, Rajasthan, Punjab, etc. We can see that shepherd taking their herds of sheep for grazing. We can see a beautiful sight of one shepherd is moving front and followed by him a herd of sheep are also moving. It's one of the beautiful sight. Okay. We know that sheep are herbivores. Mainly they are eating grass and leaves. But farmers, those who rearing sheep in large number, they also feed the sheep a mixture of pulses, jowar, corn, oil cakes and minerals. Oil cake means the material which is left after the extraction of oil from seeds. While we uh, extracting oil from coconut, you may also see oil cakes. So there is a mixture they are giving to these sheep for their nourishment, for their better growth. Okay. During winter season, sheep are keep indoors and fed on grass, grains and dry fodders. Dry fodder. Okay. During summer season, shepherds are carrying their sheep along with them and then moving here and there. For giving them chance to grazing. And during winter season, the sheep are kept indoors and fed them 
with grains, grass and dry fodder. Many varieties of sheep are grown in different parts of our country. Some varieties or some breeds are provided as quality fibers. That quality fibers are used to produce many valuable items. That means woolen materials, woolen dresses, woolen shawl, woolen setters, etc. So in our lesson, they are given one table, three one. They are written names of animals and the texture of their wool, the quality of their wool and also the states where we can found these animals. So you have to go through this table. You will get an idea about the varieties of sheep and which type of wool they are providing and where their location. Okay. So you have to go through this table thoroughly. Lohi is a breed of the sheep. Provide good quality wool and they can see in the states of Rajasthan and Punjab. Next one, Rampur Pusher, brown fleece, seen in Uttar Pradesh and Himachal Pradesh. Next, Nali, carpet wool. This Nali's wool is used to make carpet, Rajasthan and Haryana. Next, Becker wool for woolen shawls, Jammu, Jammu and Kashmir. Next one, Manwari, that is coarse wool, Gujarat. Next one, Patanwari for hosiery. Hosiery means it's a garment directly which we wore on feet and legs. It is a garment for making that garment we are using Manwari, that is in Gujarat. Okay, you have to go through this table and understand the different varieties of sheets and also the quality wool they provide. Okay. Certain breeds of sheep have thick coat of hairs on their body. These thick coat of hair can provide us quality wool. For getting quality wool, what farmers are doing? Farmers are selecting the quality breeds. How they are selecting, with which method they are selecting, in the last lesson, in the last topic, we discussed about that. Selective breeding. In that selective breeding, farmers are selecting parents of special characteristics to get in their offsprings. These parents can give birth to offspring which may provide us fine soft fibers. They have thick coat of fine soft fibers from that we can process wool. Okay. Once the sheep are developing thick hair growth, then that hair is shaved off to get wool. Then next, let us look processing of wool from fibers. Dear students, the wool for knitting setters and weaving different types of shawls are the finished products of these fibers. So let us know how these fibers are processed into wool. We know many animals like sheep, goat, camel, rabbit are provide us wool of different qualities. Okay. Now, let us move on to the topic processing fiber into wool. To make wool from fibers, we have to follow many processes. So, let us know which are that processes to make wool from fibers. There are six steps are there. The first step, in the step, the fleece of sheep 
along with the thin layer of skin is removed. Already we understood that these animals, wool providing animals having thick coat of fur. So that fur, from that fur we are rearing the wool. Here, the first step in the process of wool from fibers, that is the fleece or the fur of sheep along with the thin layer of skin is removed. That process we are calling shearing. What is shearing? The removal of fleece along with the thin skin of layer. That is, that is known as thin layer of skin. The removal of fleece along with the thin layer of skin is called shearing. Many machines are used for shearing. Like the barbers are using to shave and to cut hairs. Okay, like that many machines are using. Nowadays we know that when we are going to barber shop, uh, we can see that uh, modern machines are there. Easily they can do their work uh, that is uh, with the less time and easily, with effortlessly. Without any effort they can do the work very fast. Okay, like that machines are also using for removing the fleece of sheep. Normally the fleece is removed during summer season. So these animals it will not harm because they can survive the summer season without the thick coat of fur. After removing the fibers or fur, this fur is again processed into yarn. Okay, we know that while we cut our hair or that is a shaving the beard, your father may know that we not feel pain. What is the reason? Because the uppermost layer of hair, that is layer skin, the uppermost layer of skin is dead. The uppermost layer of skin is dead. That is why by we cutting these hairs or beard, we not feel any pain. Okay. Then the next step is, after we removing the fleece along with the thin skin, after removing the fleece, that fleece along with the skin is washed thoroughly by using water and soap in big tanks to remove the dirt, grease and other waste materials. The second step is that is called scoring. The removal of dirt, grease and dust by washing the sheared fleece is known as scoring. The scored skin, the sheared skin with the hair is thoroughly washed with the water in big tanks. That process is called scoring. Students, the first step is shearing. That is the removal of fleece along with the thin layer of skin. Second step is washing of this sheared hair. You see water and soap. Then which is the third step? After washing this sheared hair, the next step is sorting. Hairy skin is sent into factories. After scoring, after removal of waste materials, dust particles and also grease, these hairs are, hairy skin is sent into factory and the hair next, the hairs or many long hairs are also there. The small hairs are only connected with the skin that is sent into factory and the large hairs which are removed freely that in different uh, varieties, different texture. 
while we touching also we can understand the hairs on our head also having different varieties different kinds some are uh, tough in touch some are very soft like that then these hairs of different textures are separate and sorting okay this is the third step students first step is shearing second step is scoring and the third step is sorting then which is the fourth step some fibers are very fluffy very soft and fine that fluffy fibers are called fluffy fibers are called burr and these burrs are pick out from the hairs and again they are these burrs we can also see in sweaters small hairs that we can feel in uh, our sweaters and these burrs are again scoring that means again washing and also drying in the sunlight okay and this fluffy uh, fibers are called burr and these burrs are pick out from the hairs pick out from the hairs of larger size and these hairs are again washing and also drying that is the fourth step then what is fifth step in fifth step that is coloring dyeing these fibers are fibers are coloring with by using different dyes fibers are coloring coloring by using dyes dyes means coloring materials in natural uh, fibers having the color like black white and brown so while we purchasing sweaters and other shawl and wool and materials we will get a different varieties of different colored the materials how it is obtaining by coloring these fibers with the different dyes so that we are getting different colored uh, shawl uh, then uh, the blankets mat etc okay so for fifth step is after uh pick out the fluffy fibers that is called the burr and they are again scoring and drying then the dried fibers are coloring by using different coloring materials the natural fibers only having the color white black or brown students after fifth step the sixth step is the fibers are straightened combed and rolled into yarn first we sheared then we washed then we uh, that is sent into different factories and sorted then we are again separate them into different different uh, uh, items then fifth step again we are coloring the materials it by using dyes and sixth step is the fibers are straightened combed and rolled into yarn the longer fibers are made into wool for sweaters and shorter fibers are woven and spun into the woolen clothes these are the six steps we have to follow to process wool from fibers which are the six steps let us revise okay one is shearing that means the removal of hairs along with the thin layer of skin the second step is scoring washing of these fleece by using water and soap in big tanks called scoring in the third step is sorting that means we are separating the thin uh, layer of skin along with the fur and also the free hairs separately in the fourth step again we are washing and also drying the fibers the separated or the sorted fibers we are washing and drying separately in the fifth step 
that is the fibers are coloring as per our the different colors natural colors only three colors we will get from the animals white black or brown so some other colors artificial colors are we are giving to these fibers by using different coloring material different dyes okay the sixth step the fibers are the washed and colored fibers are straightened combed and rolled into yarn last year you studied that that is fiber then fiber to yarn yarn to fabric fabric to cloth this is the steps okay here the longer fibers are used for making sweaters shorter fibers are used to make some other woolen clothes is it clear students now let us observe video of these six steps shearing scoring sorting dyeing and also straightening of the fibers okay In Australia, there are more than 75 million sheep. That is more than three sheep per person. Sheep are domestic animals, which means they have been tamed to live alongside humans as pets or as farm animals. Sheeps can live on big farms with thousands of other sheep, and once a year they are shorn so they can stay cool during summer and their fleeces can be made into many different products. To make these products, including sweaters or jumpers, firstly, the sheep grow their wool. That white fuzzy hair isn't actually hair, but is naturally grown wool. To care for the sheep, you need a nice big paddock with lots of grass, water, sunshine and shade. Sometimes sheep live in huge paddocks with thousands of other sheep on big farms in Australia. Once a year in spring, the sheep get their yearly hair cut where the shearers, who are special people whose job it is to shear the sheep, cut or shear the sheep's fleece. While the shearers are shearing, other workers are sorting the fleece and packing them into bales to be sold. The wool can either stay in Australia or be sold overseas. Once you are ready to use the wool, you need to give it a nice wash to make sure it is nice and clean. There are big machines that can do this and it washes the wool up to eight times. Once the wool is dry, you need to comb it like brushing your hair, but this is also done by a big machine. This brushing of the wool is called carding and it removes all the sticks, thorns and knots from the wool. It is then straightened into a nice, long, thick, woolly roll. Instead of staying white the whole time, you can dye the wool into many different colours of the rainbow. You can even make a mixture of different colours. The wool is then spun. This is where the wool is twisted together to make a long, strong rope, which is called a yarn. The machine then joins the yarn together by weaving or knitting and turns it into clothes, curtains, blankets, socks, carpet, and even your beanies and scarves. Sometimes you can see your mum or grandma doing this with their knitting needles or crochet hooks. Once the item has been machine knitted or hand knitted, you then get to wear your nice, warm, comfy, new woolly clothing or snuggle under a nice, warm, woolly blanket. Once you're finished with your wool clothes, they can be recycled by unwinding the yarn and made into new clothes or other items nice and sustainable. Wool is very important to Australia as you can use it for many different things all supplied by the one little animal on the farm, the sheep. I hope all of you observed the video. This is the time to wind up today's session. See you again in the next class. Thank you.